untuk itu orang-orang bau. <laughs> What does new mean? Baru. Untuk orang-orang itu baru. <laughs> Hai semuanya, apa kabar? Selamat datang di Ayu, Petri, dan Mad. <tik> Oke okay, teman-teman saya Mad. <tik> Cerewet. Cucu. Banget. Kali ini saya mau Mad. cerita dikit. Gimana asal mulanya saya bikin channel YouTube itu? Waktu itu saya iseng aja karena saya udah punya website suka makan.net. Terus saya mau menyatukan gitu antara website sama channel YouTube. Tapi sebenarnya yang minta saya bikin dulu itu pertamanya adalah ini si Lipstick coming off. Hugs, 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 hugs. Anyway, teman-teman. Hugs. Kamu lucu banget. Jadi anyway, teman-teman. Dia ini yang minta saya bikin channel, tapi kan waktu itu saya sama sekali nggak tahu ya gimana cara filming, cara ngedit video, cara bikin intro dan lain sebagainya saya nol sekali. Dan saya punya guru, guru YouTube yang ngajarin saya semua itu. Jadi mulai dari nol saya nggak tahu apa-apa sampai sekarang saya dapet sekitar 4000 subscribers yang diantaranya adalah kalian semua. Makasih banget. Nah, hari ini kita mau interview sama guru YouTube saya ya, Met ya. Boleh nggak ya. interview? Jadi sekarang kita mau ketemu sama guru YouTube saya. Langsung aja kita kasih sambutan untuk guru YouTube saya. Dada! Saya itu adalah ini bule cilik me. Untuk untuk itu untuk itu orang-orang bagu. Untuk itu orang-orang bau. What does new mean? Baru. Untuk orang-orang itu baru. What does that mean? For the new people. Oh, untuk orang-orang yang baru. Untuk orang-orang yang baru. <laughs> Sampai ngomongnya salah untuk itu orang yang bau. <laughs> salah, salah, salah. <laughs> Oke okay, teman-teman, jadi Matt ini benar-benar guru saya di dalam dunia YouTube. Dia yang ngajarin cara filming dia yang kasih tahu tentang editor untuk ngedit dia yang kasih tahu gimana caranya daftar itu pokoknya semuanya itu dia karena saya sama sekali nggak punya pengetahuan soal YouTube ini dan saya terus terang dulu nggak pernah nonton YouTube yang nonton terus ya ini sih nak ini ah. ini loh teman-teman ah. bau banget <laughs> gokil banget kayak gini tapi sebenarnya dia pinter teman-teman beneran saya nggak bohong sebagai emaknya emang dia ini termasuk pinter tapi ya nakal kayak gini ya nakal guru nakal guru <laughs> oke okay. Matt are you ready I will interview you oke 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 kita langsung aja tanya-tanya sama guru YouTube kita dan who knows he can give us some information useful information for you guys who want to start new channel and you are curious about this and that it, YouTube we can ask him then hopefully it will be useful okay let's start pertama kali dia punya ide untuk bikin 
channel YouTube itu saya agak bingung gitu. Matt, who watches YouTube anyway? Was not even in the <laughs> So, just about everyone likes to watch YouTube. Really? Yeah. Like who? Yeah. Like you? It's really hard to explain because just about everyone who has a smart device watches YouTube and then it becomes hard to name one person who watches YouTube. <laughs> I thought we watch black and white TV. No. <laughs> this is in the 70s. Right? Mm, when I was small, there was only black and white TV. Did you know that? I know. <laughs> if we had YouTube channel, can we make money? Well, there are rules and I'll give you one. So, so Google made it so that if you... We're talking about YouTube. Why are you talking about Google? Because YouTube was made by Google. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, so, so Google made it so that if you pass 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a year or so, you can earn money when someone views or clicks an ad or an mm. advertisement. And if you get less than that, can you still make money? It's okay. Google will give you a second chance. How? As long as you get it within one year, Google will give you access to monetization. However, your application also has to be complete to do so. Alright, so we have to submit application first, correct? Yeah. Okay. And you also need an AdSense account so that you can view your YouTube metrics. What's an AdSense account? You'll need Google AdSense in order to receive the money from your channel. So, there's no alternative. We must have Google AdSense, correct? Yeah. To monetize, yep. But, but once you're done, you can check your revenue by going to YouTube Studio Beta and clicking on that Get Revenue chart. Right. But YouTube won't actually send the money to our house or anything like that, right, man? Yeah. Then how does it go? You need your bank right we need a bank account which is fundamental for your life sake. <laughs> and it has to be linked to your google adsense correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ini mungkin agak ngebingungin buat yang belum pernah bikin ya tapi begitu kita udah jalan itu nggak apa-apa itu gampang banget jadi pertama teman-teman harus punya adsense harus punya bank account itu aja sih Terus apa lagi, Matt? Terus. Let's talk about the videos. Videos are actually essential for your channel because if you don't make one video mm -hmm. at all in your channel, you're just a watcher. You only watch and you you never create. How's your channel ever gonna get noticed? Right, that's very important. The most important of your YouTube channel is the videos, correct? Yeah. Let me. I found an interesting thing. <laughs> okay, so I know that you like watching videos and seeing what others have created and formed out of just the camera. But you need to upload a video and then if you're a child, then tell your mom's friends and then you might get popular me. And then you can grow from there. Susah banget kan teman-teman. Kita mau bikin video yang bagus itu caranya kayak gimana? Video itu nggak bisa. Ya bisa juga sih kita langsung filming terus langsung diupload. Tapi kan kadang kita mau motong bagian yang ini. Kita mau kasih back sound. Kita mau dibikin apa? Lebih terang videonya atau lebih gelap kayak gitu-gitu Nah kita harus ngedit itu namanya ya kan So Matt How to edit videos You need 
another like application to do that. Well, not kind of application. The app that you download. It's An not app. enough to just use YouTube. It's not enough. It's not enough. Unless you're planning to make your video about raw footage, which is kind of bad. <laughs> but but people like Nintendo Thumb, they got really popular from raw footage. Because they had topics like Mario Maker, for example, which was really trending. But if you don't want to make such a, like, a video that you didn't polish, you'll need a video editor. Mm. Can you suggest any video editor apps? Well, one thing's for sure. She has a video editing software, and it's awesome! It's called Wondershare Filmora. Despite its, its price, mm -hmm, it'll be worth it, trust me. You and can do cool things like zoom into my face. Zoom in, please? Okay, thanks. And then you can also zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. better so and you can do lots of cool things that are bound to make your videos viral if you use them in the right way ah uh, yeah 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 good editing is important right mm -hmm. yeah jadi itu semua dulu yang ngasih tahu mad saya sama sekali nol gitu dia yang kasih tahu mami harus diedit ini harus diedit itu gitu dan dia juga tiga tahun yang lalu teman-teman waktu itu dia masih kecil dia minta mami beliin film murah ngapain anak kelas 1 sd minta film murah gitu kan cerita ah udah nggak usah beli gitu dan sekarang saya sendiri yang butuh jadi terpaksa beli film murah <laughs> maaf ya nak ya tapi, you know, for novice YouTubers, Filmora is quite expensive, actually. Mm. Can you recommend any free video editors? Do you have an iPhone? If you do, it has a video editing app. It's called iMovie, and it's very similar to Filmora. It's essentially Filmora. Just simplified and it also removed the zooming feature. But there's one thing good about iMovie. Sorry, so you can't zoom? No. Oh. But you can crop it to a little part, to a huge part of your image and make it move, mm -hmm. which that filter is called Ken Burns. Yeah, if you have an iPhone, yeah. it's free. Anything else? Because many people in Indonesia don't have iPhones. Can you suggest something which is free? Mm. Windows Movie Maker. Oh yeah! <laughs> Windows Movie Maker. Mm -hmm. While people claim it to be one of the worst video editing app, I'm on the opposing side as Windows Movie Maker is a very, very, very simple video editing app. Iya, setuju banget sama Matt. Ini yang saya pakai waktu pertama kali bikin... It's essentially iMovie without Ken Burns. Without anything, right? It's super simple, but it's super easy to use. And it has transitions, like fade mm -hmm. out. And visual effects like pixelate. Mm -hmm. Dan gampang banget pakainya. Jadi itu yang pertama kali saya pakai waktu saya baru-baru bikin gitu ya video di channel ini waktu masih suka makan dotnet. Teman-teman bisa lihat video pertama saya itu dulu semua pakai HP dan ngeditnya pakai Windows Movie Maker dan yang ngasih tahu juga si Matt ini karena saya sama sekali nggak bisa dan bapaknya juga meskipun kerja di bidang komputer tapi nggak spesialisasi di bidang video editing jadi si Matt ini yang lebih banyak tahu oke okay, good job Matt saya udah bikin channel saya udah bikin video saya udah ngedit udah upload itu apa otomatis 
semua bisa dapat duit ya media. As I said, you need to reach the goals Google set. Right. Do you have any suggestion how to meet that requirement? There are actually ways not that simple but still kind of simple ways to promote your videos ranging from if you're a kid telling your mom's friends mm -hmm. to telling some of you know the older guys in your school mm -hmm. and if you're an adult ranging from telling your friends when you meet them to maybe if you're someone like Dan TDM, subway advertisements, appearances in TV shows, even your own live live show, anything's possible as long as it's not too extravagant. <laughs> you can also advertise. <laughs> so. So if you have a social media account, then I recommend that, like mommy did, you can go on that social media website and make a post about your channel or any of your new videos and then your friends will go to that post maybe and click that mouse button and then they'll watch it and they'll be like, maybe they'll be like, oh, so good. And then they click that like button, and then they comment, and then subscribe, and ring that bell, and then they do sharing, and then they... they Many people fell for it. Using popular music in your video, is that okay? It depends on how serious the owner, the composer, takes it. If it's not that serious, the video owner can do nothing about it if they don't need to. For example, you play Despacito in your video for if, for like five minutes. So if it's something lesser known, then mm -hmm. then they'll just fall a claim, and if you accept the consequences, mm -hmm. ignore it. What does filing a claim mean? That a company mm -hmm. who notices it. Mm -hmm. They'll make a claim saying that, okay, you can still use this song, mm -hmm. but advertisements will appear on your video uh -huh. and we'll get the money. Yeah, so we won't get the money, the company will. Yes. Yes, okay. But if it's something like Despacito. Very popular. Yeah, trendy. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. We'll get a copyright strike. Copyright strike. Copyright strike. Copyright strikes are more serious. What's that? A copyright strike is essentially a copyright claim, but you have to do something. And if you get three, mm -hmm. your channel gets taken down. <gasps> It'll be a nightmare, right? Right, especially if you have already a lot of fans. Mm -hmm. Your channel will be on the line! So, what's your suggestion to avoid copyright strike? To avoid getting your channel... Then, <laughs> all you need to do is maybe use stock music, royalty-free music by Kevin MacLeod or Nicolay Haidless. Or, yeah, just, just using a popular, well, copyright claim worthy song and singing over it or making your own cover of that song. Like, for example, Can't Let Go, you don't want everyone to briefly hear the tune and then file a claim, right? So you just be like da 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 over the audio. And if you're a gamer, do some awful singing. That will be sure to make it like that. Jadi itu triknya si Matt biar nggak ketangkep copyright strike. Gue beli potan ngomongnya. Oke, oke Matt. Jadi thank you banget udah kasih waktu untuk menjawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan kita semua ini 
anak kecil ya guys kayaknya udah mulai bosen ini ngelipet-lipet <laughs> taplak saya <laughs> jadi korban nih okay, kotor okay. <laughs> saya kotor oh, enggak kamu nggak kotor tapi kamu belum mandi <laughs> thank you for sharing your knowledge with us oke okay, now let's close the video jadi beginilah tingkah guru YouTube saya di rumah ya guys berharap maklum karena baru 10 tahun umurnya <laughs> oke okay deh makasih yang udah nonton hari ini are you battery? makasih yeah. sudah nonton. nonton are you battery? dan mad <laughs> pipi ku pipi, pipi kita <laughs> oke okay. Uh, jangan lupa klik like, subscribe, comment, dan itu bell. Ding dong. <laughs> Oke, okay. sampai jumpa di video berikutnya. Bye bye.